knock and futz. Just say. In the last three-ish years, I've broken ties pretty much with every conspiracy theorist that I was affiliated with. Because they all went off on trucking excursions and anti-science, anti-medicine, vacations, I don't know what the hell. Anyway, because there were knocking fights. Like, take a breath, think about what you're saying, stop dividing the nations, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so I broke ties. And I'm not saying that I think they were right. I don't. I don't. Medically, put other people first. You know, and if you don't want to do something, fine. Don't do something. But don't harm the people around you. Empathy. Anyway. It's all connected. It's all connected. And I've been, I've been saying that for so long. I've been using that as a tag to the point that <laughs> TikTok won't let it be there anymore. <sighs> At least when I use it, it's non-functioning. That and other ones. But it really is all connected globally and it, it does have to do with the grossly moneyed and their control over our governments whether our governments are part of the grossly moneyed or not yeah really on the grand scale no they're not <sighs> they're really really not but they want to be you know let me sit at your table it doesn't matter if it's a white supremacist table let me sit I want to sit too. Let me be there. Gimme, 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 gimme. What is that saying? The kid's saying. All you'll get is soaking wet. Something. Except for now it's going to be a bonfire. A barbecue. Because everybody's freaking hungry. Except for the moderately moneyed. And they think they're above the rest of us. It's like 96% of us are hungry. And I don't mean literally hungry. Not that there isn't a fair percent that are actually hungry. And if it wasn't for the fact that my eldest comes on the weekends and brings food, I'd be hungry, hungry. But anyway. All they care about is their money, their shipping lanes, and all the rest of it. And they will do anything, including unaliving thousands thousands of children when the numbers first came out it was over 7,000 then it was bordering on 8,000 then all of a sudden it dropped right back down again somebody changed the numbers it's not that bad it's not that bad every time they talk about it it's just a little under 8,000. Just a little. Even though days and days and days, 75 days today, 75 days, it's been 75 years of occupation. And weirdly, 75 years for the Human Rights Act. How odd is that? The people in power make laws so that they can sidestep laws. I had it pointed out to me, like, blatantly, 
Not that I remember all the details. But Dougie there in Ontario, he wrote some law into the books so that what he was doing, he couldn't be charged for. Can I find that video? No. I should just contact Frank. Because he would know. But he probably gets thousands of emails a day. Wouldn't see it. But there's a law that Dougie put into place so that he wouldn't get in trouble for the stuff he was doing. He's not alone. Whole freaking countries put laws into place, like the U.S. Did you know that at the U.N., everybody can vote yes to a ceasefire? But as soon as the United States stands up and says no, it's off the table. Totally off the table. And who has the biggest stake in the oil? Everybody's like, oh, Canada, Canada. That's actually what got my first account, TikTok account, like shadow banned. I know it doesn't exist. Tell that to my account. Um, somebody was going after, oh, it's Canadian and it's here and it's this and it's that. And I'm like, no, because I remember when I first started fighting this fight from my couch, because I'm a hermit, I'm agoraphobic, and I don't like being out there. Anyway, so from my couch, I was fighting the good fight. The big companies here are owned by American companies, who it turns out own countries. They run countries. People would just wake up, stand up, speak up. <sighs> but people are too comfortable in their BS. They would rather just not look. They would rather thousands of children died so they can keep their car running. Or how about the thousands of children in the Congo who provide the, uh, the, the mining so that we can run our phones and our iPads and our battery chargers. Oops, I just ripped it right out of the phone. Does that matter? No, of course not. So long as you've got your phone, right? It's all good. So long as you've got your car. You've got your cushy little job or the job you hate. You go to it every day, but it is what you're used to. Get uncomfortable. Learn something new. Get more uncomfortable. The way things are run is disgusting. And the global majority needs to get together and stand up together. Because this can't continue. You cannot keep killing our children. For your monetary gain. Enough is enough. Harmony, happiness, health, and hope. For a more enlightened tomorrow. Bye for now.